now I'm going to move on and talk about um, September and October. So shall we talk about the October box first? The disaster that was the Dark Romance box. Okay, so I have written down all the products that I got. I watched my video back and wrote them down. And then I put like little sort of ticks or crosses next to them. So in the October glossy box, I got two identical ones. Not happy, happy about that. This month I got two different ones. Very happy about that. Very excited. That's very good. Um, so last month I got the Me 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 Cherub's Kiss Cheek and Lip Stain. Blech. Wah, 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 wah. Don't like it. Terrible. Um, I have tried it. I've put it in my Halloween sort of special effects makeup kit. I didn't use it, but I might use it. I've just left it in there, but I do have another one that I don't know what I'm going to do with yet. Um, just not impressed. I don't think it was, you know, it was just incredibly, th just very light colour. I mean, it's like a sort of trying to be like Benetint, but even Benetint is like a deeper tint than that. Um, no, I just, that's not my kind of thing. And liquid on your cheeks like that, that just does not appeal to me. So I didn't like that. Um, the Katy Perry Killer Queen perfume. I don't mind a perfume sample in a box where you've got a couple of good full size items. However, this box did not have that. So I didn't think that, uh, that a perfume sample was a good thing for this box. That said, I love the smell. I can't afford to buy this perfume for myself. I wish I could, because I definitely would. I love Katy Perry and I love this perfume and Tony loves it. So she took one of the samples and so did I and I've been wearing it all the time. In fact, I've got it in my handbag now and I just spray it when I go out and about and I absolutely love it. So it's something that I may invest in in the future. Um, but yes, I absolutely love the perfume. The other thing was in the box was the Vita Liberate Sachets. I'm going to give them to somebody else. It's a bad thing to put in an October glossy box, in my opinion. Who's bronzing themselves at this time of year? It's a summer thing. I just, no, I didn't like that at all. I thought that was just a really bad item in the box. And then the last two items I love. The Manu Illuminating Primer. I've got it on today. I love the stuff. It's amazing. It hasn't got too strong a smell and it just, I love Manu primers. I think they're fabulous. So I love the primer and I've been using it loads. So I'm glad that I've got two of those. And then the Harmony Smoothie Serum. I've got that on today as well. I put the, that on first when I've washed my face. I put my serum on the moisturiser and I love the serum. So I'm really happy with the serum. Um, we've got serum again this month. Serum seems quite popular. Um, but yeah, I might as well get stocked up in the serum. It's not something that I would necessarily go out and buy, but at least I've got a good stock of it. So yes, that is the October box. The September glossy box was really good in my opinion. Um, you've got the Eyelo lashes, so I've got two sets of those. I've actually worn one and they're really nice. They're very natural because they're not big and thick. They're a nice length, they look great on and they're very easy to use. You can buy them for a pound in savers. If you like them and you didn't get them or you like them and you've lost one or you've used them, you can get normally a good six to eight uses out of a lash if you treat them right, take them off, clean them properly and are gentle with them. Um, but if you wanted to purchase some, then that is where you get them savers for one pound, which is really good. Um, Elizabeth Arden's Untold Perfume, lovely. And it's over here somewhere, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. No, it's not. <laughs> I lie. I don't know where it is. It probably is there, but it's, I don't want to knock everything over. But it's a really nice perfume. I've worn it a couple of times. I give the other bottle to my mum and she loves it. So yes, that was a big win. However, big boo-boo and I don't like it, Glossy Box. I have to complain. I also have to complain about Debenhams. I went into the with the card the day after I got my glossy box. All the samples had gone. I didn't believe her. She didn't really look properly. I really dislike high street stores, big stores like Devon's and House of Fraser. They are so reluctant to give samples. And I don't think this is very good because companies give samples to their stores, to their counters, so they can encourage people to buy their products. But it's like trying to get blood out of a stone if you ask for a sample and it really annoys and irritates me. And I'd like to campaign and do something about it, but I really don't know how. But I'll think on that topic because I don't like it. So yes, yeah, she said they were or they were gone or she went, oh, well, yes, we've got quite a few of those and she couldn't be bothered. She's looking, I don't know where anything is. I, oh, I'm not sure. Oh, yes, they've all gone. Um, I think yes. Oh, and she was like, oh, I just thought, you know, you don't really know what you're saying. You're just lying to me. I wasn't very happy. So as you can tell, ran over. Um, Rimmel Stay Blushed um, Blush. <sighs> it's a meh kind of item. I don't really care for Rimmel as a brand so much and it's a cream sort of 
cheek thing but I prefer my Daniel Sandler so that's probably going in a blog sale. I only did the like the little sort of skin swatch out of it. It's an okay colour um, but it's not something I'm going to get a lot of use out of so I'd rather pass it on and get somebody else get some use out of it. I also got the Toning Guy Serum. <gasps> love the serum. It's fantastic. It smells nice. It makes my hair smell amazing. I love the packaging so I love the serum. And um, uh, the last thing in the box was, what does that say? Oh, be a bombshell liner. Very nice. I've been using the liner. It's a nice liner. It's a very deep dark colour. It goes on very smoothly and it stays and lasts all day. So I can't complain about the liner. It's great. And then the other box was identical. So I got two sets of lashes which I was happy about. Two perfumes I give one to my mum. Um, I got the two Tony and Guys, very happy. I put one in stock and I've been using the other one. And then two bombshell liners. Those liners, um, which are like pens, tend to dry out quite quickly, so it's quite useful to have a backup. And then the other item that I got instead of the Rimmel, which is a huge difference between Rimmel and this item, is the HD bronzer. So it's either a £4.50 item or a £20 item, so I find that quite bizarre. But um, the HD bronzer is lovely. It's quite um, very pigmented, is what I want to say. <laughs> Um, I have used it as a contour but I find that it's not quite the right colour for that on my pale skin um, but I will use it as a bronzer in the warmer weather and it is a really nice bronzer. It's very soft, very pigmented and it just goes on beautifully and blends beautifully so I'm very happy with that. So those are my October and September glossy boxes in review. I hope you've enjoyed this video. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching as always. I'm going to love you all and live here and see you all soon. Make sure you like comment and subscribe. I reply to all comments. I'm very happy to get new subscribers. I love all my old subscribers and it's great if you can share this video as well and get more people to see it and maybe get me some more subbies. So that's it. Bye!